Eat fast, chuckle nuts! Hello everyone, Prisco here, and welcome to Pokin Tournament. Kind of what everybody wanted, an actual Pokemon fighting game, holy crap. I want to use this controller. The hey, fighting nice game... Nia, Nia. Nia, please, I need a moment. The fighting game that everybody wanted, but didn't ask for, but still got it. <laughs> it long story short, because of Band, Band, uh, Bandai Namco... Working very closely on Smash Brothers when that Smash Brothers was delivered, Tails like, you did an amazing job. Hey, you want to do another one with Pokemon? And they're like, uh, is the sky blue? Yes. I'm one of the battle trainers here in Therum. Nice. I battle alongside my trusty partner, Weavile. Have you ever seen a Pokemon this cute? I doubt it. Holy crap! What is with her voice acting? I guess people were right when they were telling me that ho that her voice acting was kind of bad. <laughs> I feel sorry for saying that. Oh, he's just sleeping over there. Don't mind him. You must be the interesting new trainer I heard about who's about to join us. How about I show you around and stuff? About about around around. Good lord. Friend, first things first. Welcome to the Ferrum battle. Hi. Here in Ferrum, you'll need to work as one with your partner Pokémon and face off in some intense one-on-one -on -one battles. After you finish your trainer registration, you'll be given something called a Battle AR. It okay. It has a synergy stone built into it that allows you to synergize with your Pokemon in battle. But hey, we'll get into the details later. You've got a whole bunch of new experiences awaiting you here. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what sort of trainer you turn out to be. Um, I think I already know what I'm going to be, but I suppose I have to play as the entire roster to fully peg down what character I'm going to be. Register. Use the... But it's over there! And I'm over here with the controller! Game, please! <laughs> Alright, whatever. Please, let's see. Enter your battle trainer name. Well, I'm gonna be... Scooter. Because that's what I always am. You do not realize how awkward it is to like, use this from across the room. Anyway, there we go. Your agenda. Well, man... Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, there we go. The whitest white to ever white. Yeah, that one. 
eyes. How close we can get to like green purple? Green purple gummy. Yes. Okay, we'll do that. Choose the battle Pokemon, huh? Well, I already know who I'm going to use more than likely. Yeah, I'm a champ. I should have gone through the whole roster to show them off, but I think anybody who's interested in this game already knows the entire roster that's available. This is the Farum region where we are now. It's a huge island surrounded by nothing but the ocean itself. Is that supposed to be like Hawaii? Oh ah, well. Farum battles are super popular here, if you hadn't already guessed. The types of battles differ a bit from city to city, so I'll just give you the short and sweet version. To start off, right now we're here in Old Ferrum Town. It's also known as My Town, and here you can check your battle data and change your settings, stuff like that. Don't worry, whenever we head to a new area, I'll give you the rundown. I've got your back. Next up is right here, Ferrum Stadium. This is where the Ferrum League is held. This is a single player mode where you battle your way to victory in the official league. Next up is Tellertown, I suppose. Here you can join in casual matches against CPU opponents. Oh, casual, that has me written all over it. When you want to battle against your friends, you should head over to Selen Island. There, you can battle using the gamepad and one additional controller. I already got that additional controller, though. And then there's Neo City, where you can battle against online players from around the globe. That's the mode everybody's playing. Oh, right. I forgot one other important place. In Techno City, you can learn all sorts of stuff about battles and practice a bit, too. I'll give you a nice little walkthrough in the tutorial. Alrighty then. Guess I went on a bit longer than planned, but that should be just about everything. Feel free to start off wherever you want, but I think you might be best off heading to Techno City to play through the tutorial and learn the basics of Param battles. All right, well, I will do so just to learn. Also, thank you very much. Or thank you very much to uh, Pokemon, like Pokemon Company and uh, Ban Bandai Namco. I always want to say Banco Namdai. Uh, Bandai Namco, thank you for actually letting us have free reign over wherever we want to go, if, if we, uh, like if we just picked up the game or not. Thank you very much, guys. So anyway, let me go ahead and... Actually, I need to check a setting, pardon me. Okay, sorry about the little pause there. Anyway, so I will take the heed and you go to practice, but first, because I can... Because people who bought this game day one physical get this... There we go. Unlocked Shadow Mewtwo for the time being. Anyway, moving onwards towards... Let's see which one. Well, I suppose they want me to practice. Let's do it. I need to learn how to play my Pokemon anyway. Okay, well, uh, let's do tutorial. So, oh yeah, there he is right there. So, <laughs> I guess every time you want to play, you have to go ahead and, every time you want to play a Shadow Mewtwo, you'll want to go ahead and tap the card. But, okay, hold on. I'm just noticing something. Look at this. Look where Shadow Mewtwo is. And look at that available real estate around, around him and on the opposite side. You know we're getting DLC. You know we're getting DLC. And there was actually a question about this that somebody I follow asked, and I respond to, but I'd have to say, if we get DLC, I'm going to go Shaman Skyform, Snorlax, and just me, Dunsparce, in there. There's somebody else I put too, for, but I forget. Anyway. So, anyway, the roster. Well, you have Blaziken and Lucario, which were the first revealed in that thing after the Detective Pikachu teaser ages ago, like, I think four or five years ago, actually. You got Pikachu itself, 
Then Godwa was added. Pikachu Libre, which fans of Oros will know Pikachu Libre. Sceptile, which, oh, Sceptile, you got in the game finally. Gengar, that's creepy. The Pokemon I'm playing as, obviously. Brexian, because they needed some Gen 6 representation that wasn't a costume for Pikachu. You got Chandelure, which Chandelure says power, but I know from reading up on people that Chandelure is an all ranged fighter, really. Like, if it gets any, if you get clo close enough to Chandelure, it gets, you shut it down. Suicune, which apparently is broken. Weavile, another one I, that's, that's the other one I want to pick up, actually. Good old Charizard, and Gatterchomp. Anyway, Machamp. Give me my Machamp. So the basics of battle, the basics of movement and fighting. Tell me, wow, don't tell me this is how long it takes to load everything. Do not tell me this is how long it takes to load. Do not. Okay. Whoa, what happened? In this course, I'll teach you all about the basics of the game. Now then, what shall we start with? Start with why everything looks so pixelated all of a sudden. Already, I guess we better start off learning how to go ahead. All right. You can use the plus control pad to move around the field. You can use plus or you can use you can also jump with the B button. Okay, you can jump, you can move with left and you can move around. I guess they want you to use the D-pad. Nah. Hi, Lucario. I'm gonna jump in your okay, face. Let's move on. I don't think I have a ranged attack. Next up, press this button to use long distance attack. Okay. Long distance attacks are called try to land them. I'm trying to go fast. Oh, I have one. Nice. I have a long range attack. Yay! Okay. Oh, X closes the distance. I should have like listened. Oh, homing attack, there nice. You go. Now you're getting it. Oh, I know about phases. Phases, I'm gonna skip through your text. At the start of the battle, where... Yeah, field phase, here we go. Field phase. And this is dual phase. Yep, the two phases. Basically, one is traditional fighting game mechanics, one is more of a hybrid mechanic. Alright. Thank you for that. Now then, how do you go about changing phase? Well, you see, if you land a certain type of attack, you'll shift phases. Okay. Let's check out this demonstration. Alright, demonstrate me. So literally bash axe and I change phases. Gotcha. Okay. There's the phase shift. Okay, so that's how I shift phases. Moving in dual phase, which is like a traditional fighting game at this point. You can dish out some serious damage, but close quarter combat is risky too. Nah, it's fine. Where the real battle goes down. Yeah, it is. You'll need to be careful. The way you move around differs a bit from field phase. Let's practice. Okay, so pressing forward twice on the plus control pad. You can perform a forward dash step. By pressing back twice. Oh, I've managed to hit my attack button. My... I managed to hit my grab button. You can jump using the B button. In dual phase, the action is high and Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Pretty simple. Shift back to, I don't want to uh, as a champ though. Land a certain attack on your opponent, and you'll shift from dual phase back to field phase. Oh, that was a grab. Grab attacks. You can also just land a bunch of hits and Okay, that works too. So let send them flying back into field phase like this. Okay. So, field phase, main phase, yada yada. Like yours has probably already figured this out, but battles will involve shifting back and forth. Yes, yes, yes. 
Plus, when you cause a phase shift, you'll get a nice little bonus. And by that, I mean you'll fill up your synergy gauge. Okay. Yay, synergy gauge. Because you're going to teach me about that now, right? Oh, yeah, that's, that boosted a lot. I see it. Yes, I do see it. We'll talk more about how to use the synergy gauge later on. Okay. And blocking. Ah, you can block by pressing by blocking. You can all but completely defend against your opponent's attack. Alrighty, let's try to block an attack. Just hold down the R button and... Okay, hold on R button. Gotcha. I wonder if that has, like, expires. Oh, chip damages. I'm actually okay with chip damage. I'll forget. Alright, I see. Synergy gauge max. Okay, can I do that now, please? That's nice. Yeah, synergy burst. Burst attacks. Okay, yes, I got you. Okay, so it wants me to burst attack, which is basically super attack. Oh god, just went all JoJo on him. Actually, it would be JoJo or K Kentaro. Oops. Yeah, I learned how to play. I'm going to go do a battle now. Uh, I should learn more buttons, but I think I'm just going to go and do like a single player battle just so we can experiment with various characters. And I'll and I'll learn more tutorial stuff on my own. Okay. Uh, okay, negative stats, bonus stats. Basic battle. Uh, okay, battle with these rules. Now, can I... Which Pokemon are you battling with? Well, I would like to try a battle with my boy Machamp. And CPU can be whatever they want. <laughs> okay, now the support set, let's see. Quick long distance. I gotta look here, cuz... Okay, I need something that's long distance, actually, for this character. Okay, so I guess everything has, like, a long-range variance. I'll take this one, though. CPU can use whatever they want. So there's more supports that are... There are more support Pokemon there that are showed, and those are unlocked through the Farron League that I showed, but I'll have to get into that more at another time. Right now... Oh god, it got Shadow Mewtwo. The CPU got Shadow Mewtwo. Why is everything so grainy? When it's like this. Go Machamp! Don't you just get all revved up before a battle? Please be quiet, Nia. Come here. I'm going to throw you around a little bit. Oh, God. Okay, that seems a little too easy. I didn't even jump. <laughs> okay, Eevee's support gauge is maxed out. Let's go with Eevee. Okay, there we go. Oh god. Okay, there's X and A for counterattacks. Gotcha. Oh. Hey, support. Let's do this. 
Oh, they did this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just hit him with a finisher. You are coming back from this one. Okay, well that was... Fighting against the CPUs is actually really, really easy. Yeah, I, I did good, I think. Wow, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Okay, uh, change Pokemon for next battle. I'm going to play as like three different Pokemon, I guess, just kind of give a sample of it. And I would do an online fight, but, we, but right now I'm currently... I'm currently uploading, so I can't really do an, uh, an online bite. Anyway, the other character I wanted to try was actually Brexian. And CPU, pick whatever you like, friend. Take whatever you like. You're going to pick Shadow Mewtwo again of it. Alright. Let's, let's go with this uh, set. And you can use whatever you like. Okay, so I guess that first, that first loading screen we had was actually not really a bad loading screen. It was just like the, hey, everything's starting. You should learn how to start. All right, let's learn how to break scene quick. Break scene, please. All right, well, I'm in it to have fun, but I also want to try and do things. All right. I was holding the block button. How's it going? I tried. Let's try this and see if I get a little help here. Ah, oh, counter. Trust me, I can do it. Ah, oh, dang it. I still got, I guess I gotta, like, sit down with the care in character in training mode and learn them. Let's try again. Alright, let's go with Lapras. Let's go with Lapras to push away. How do I do my other attack, by the way? Oh, I thought I had it. Oh god. I better do this too. Let's see if I can do it. Ah, oh, dang it. How do you... Uh, I'm gonna lose with Braxian. Block a little bit. Oh god. <laughs> oh, well that's the end of the match, I believe. I tried. Okay, Brexian is not the character for me, but I think I still gotta learn how it works. Are you... Well, there's seriously blush effect. What the hell? Okay, well... Let's try another character. Nia, please stop. I, I appreciate what you're doing, but don't stop. All right. So let's go with the other character I wanted to learn, Weavile. Because you know me, I'm all about speed and tactics. And let's pick the last support set. CPU, pick whatever you like. Ah. Uh, now I also would. Like I said, I would show off Ferrum League or the online mode, but I don't. I can't really go online. And from what I've been hearing, the Ferrum tournament is like the story mode, and it takes forever. Oh, good Pikachu! Classic matchup: Pikachu against Weavile. Come on, let's fight! All right, let's do an area thing.
Let's see, let's do that and Dang it. Dang it. Okay, well, if Spork Age is full, let's go ahead and call him in. Dang it. Okay, apparently I'm not that good with anything other than Machamp. Bring on Machamp, I'm like, amazing. Okay, love it. Alright, let's... Let's try this. Let's do that. Let's synergy burst. Dang it. I don't I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying so hard. <laughs> Let's just go for the punches. There we go. Okay, so it's like a counter att attack system of sorts. Here, let's do this. Get some of this, get some of this. And uh, get close enough? Nope. There we go. I actually want to fight somehow. Don't ask how. I am. Okay, Fennekin's at full gauge. We'll use that for spacing. Alright, come on. Come here, bro. There we go. Let's get a little bit of spacing here then. Okay, I managed to like counter them. What is that attack? I would like to know what that does. Here, let's do a throw, huh? How about this? That's good. Let's go ahead and throw it out. I got this. Don't worry. There we go. I think I got the special off. There we go. I barely won this fight, really. Oh my god, Pikachu died! Pikachu straight up died! Okay, I like that ice effect on the on the little crest thing. <laughs> really? I defended? That is not a good match. Okay, well, I tried. Now what do we got here? So this is supposed to be a special thing. Shortens target time your support gauge. This is the duration of synergy. I would say for this character, I want more synergy burst, just because lucky bonus. You got a new item. Hey, I got hat. I get hat. Okay. You a new title. Hey, I got a title. Okay. So let's quit the battle, and I should not. I don't think I'm gonna show off extra battle, but I think that's actually all show off of this for now. 
like people who want the game, they've got the game. And people who want to experience the game, this kind of gives you a little buffer on what you should expect. So I like it. I need to sit down in a training area a lot more and learn the characters I want to play with because I got rocked. And you can't just button mash like I was. I got in my my whole uh, beat 'em up style mindset where I just but mash the buttons until something wins. I have to like stop. I have to sit down with the game and be like, okay, what am I going to be able to do in the in this situation, and what buttons shall I press and in what direction? Because no, there's no quarter circles in this. It's all forward, back, and X or Y, and then B to jump. But Whatever. You kind of get the point. You get you get what the experience is. So everybody, I want to thank you all so much for get, for watching this video on Pokken Tournament. If you want to get the game, I'll just tell you out right now, it's approximately 60 bucks, And you can find it either at your local, re, at your nearest retailer really. Or if you aren't able to get somewhere to get it, it is available for digital download as well. But it's only for Wii U. So thank you all so much for your time today. And I hope you will join me next time. Take care.